What's up guys? We are back with Miracle Warriors again. Hopefully this time I'm gonna finish it. And today is December 20th. We're getting closer and closer to Christmas. Okay, so let's throw the chat on and get this ready. So, I'm going to talk about what happened last time. So last time, I got the guy with the horns there, the last character, right, Treo. Which I'll show you guys. And I finished up getting the rest of the shields, uh, upgraded main dude's axe. And then uh, we're pretty much on the last continent right now, and I'm using a map here. So I just arrived at this village, and from here apparently I need to... Uh, I need to go down. Okay, so I'm, I'm also using a guide because this game is crazy cryptic, right? Okay, so for my guide on. Yeah, besides that, I was grinding, I sold all my fangs. They're not necessary, right? Fangs, sweet. It's the point of the game anyways. Yeah, those bosses were hard too. They were, um, almost like blue scorpions. Okay, so. That was that. Okay, so I got the Aura Mantle. Did that. Right, I was getting uh, Sea Serpents. I was fighting them for healing potions. And now... So I, I gotta get the three keys, right? Cross the seas. Carry three resurrection potions, right? Blah blah blah. Uh, once you reach land, go to the town of Tegea. This is where I am. Tegea, right now. Northern desert of Itaron. There's a small village that will trade powerful white orbs for 1,000 fangs. Oh, apparently, any fangs. You also want to stock your magic arsenal, sacred nuts, stone of protection. So apparently I need fangs. I guess I should have kept those fangs. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try fighting these guys. I gotta level up anyways, right? I think I may just go fight sea serpents. Really? That potion is used to heal in battle. Wow, okay. So I'm gonna get fangs, I guess. 38 fangs. I'm gonna need all the fangs. Bring, bring, bring. Yeah, I should have kept the fangs. I don't know how many I had. I guess I'll have to go back to one of my earlier streams and check. Oh, I'm just trying to get Sea Serpent. And yeah, I'm not fighting those things. They freeze you or they put you to sleep, right? Important one is the sea serpents, so I can get I can get those uh, potions. Or no, it's not this one. It's a sea dragon, but whatever. Let's just fight it. And see what happens.
Oh, it puts us to sleep, really? Okay, yeah, I'm not, I'm not fighting that. The sleep spell is so powerful against my team. Hopefully I can level up everybody. It's gonna take a long time. Oh my god. Avoiding. Oh wow. Wow, it dodged two attacks. What is going on? Come on, oh my god, three attacks! What is up with this enemy? Is it a special? Oh, okay. I dodged it. 45 bang. Yeah, screw it. Let's just look for those... For those, uh, dragons. Hey, Hunter, what's up, bro? How's it going? It's been a while. Yeah, these things, sea dragons, that's what I need to fight. Okay, I'm playing a game here called Miracle Warriors on the Sega Master System. Oh, yeah. Some nice coffee. Wow, it's got flame spell. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah how's everything going, Monter? Been a while. Oh my god. Monsters are way too strong. That's what I should be fighting. It gives fangs and... And... Gives that potion. Healing potion. That is painful, man. To, I need to go back to town and save. We got whooped, Tommy. We got whooped. going back to fight sea serpents so I could only hold three of those potions and I have two already. I'll show you guys I got two. Yeah. So can't do anything else. Just get the one one potion that I'm done in this area.
What's the point in even trying to run away? I should just reload. Ah, crap. I was supposed to save it in the ocean. Just a giant lobster. Let me run, man. Give me those sea dragons. There we go. That's why I need to fight. Gai Sensei. I get the last potion here, so then I can just move on. I'm not getting close to my hands. Uh... Probably save. I did get some experience. Yeah, how's it going? What's up, what's up? I'm gonna try to finish this game today. So I'm trying to get healing potions, and they apparently work in battle, so... That's pretty good. Because there's no way to heal myself in battle. I'm slowly getting through um, the arena in Pokemon Stadium 2. It's so boring. It's pretty difficult too. I got, I think I got four trophies. I need five more. Yeah, I'm doing a uh, level 50-55 cup right now. <laughs> the rough one is um, the one with the random Pokemon. Because I basically got to reset the game until I roll a good team. And I got to do that four times. And of course after that there's Elite Four and stuff like that, but... That's actually pretty fun. So I get to use my level 100 Pokemon. <sighs> Come on. I need to fight a sea dragon. Apparently, 
Missable Season 2 is done. I was thinking about binging it. <sighs> yes, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, let's kill it. Oh man. As long as it doesn't do fire up flame flame attacks, fire attacks, whatever it is. I think we're fine. Yeah, we should be fine. Flame spell. Oh my god. We'll have to reload. No potion! It has a chance of giving me the potion. The reason why I don't reload, I still get experience from the dragon, so... Might as well. Go back to tower! <sighs> After this game, I'm actually thinking about doing Dragon Warrior Monsters. It's like a Pokemon game. But it's cooler. Since you can fuse monsters. They have fused babies, it's pretty crazy. So I need to fight sea dragons. Without that happening. Damn. Giant lobster. Here we go. <sighs> okay. Rayo. Starts off with the flame spell, man. Yep. That is brutality. You missed. So every time I hit a monster, I gain experience. And the character that hits a monster gains the experience, not the whole party. If you thought that the whole party gained experience, you're just thinking wrong, because this is OG RPG. They don't do whole group experience. We're not good enough for that. Come on, man. <sighs> oh, I'm gonna use some of these herbs. The worst part is, it's not even guaranteed that I'm gonna get this healing potion from the dragon, right?
I got a little bit of uh, Christmas shopping left to do. On Saturday. We got this, um, this store called Princess Auto over here. It's basically like a car shop, right? They got everything for cars there. I'm thinking about getting something for my for my father. His car always gets dirty. So I was gonna get him a, a cover. Then I gotta get a gift for my sister. I got no clue what I'm gonna get. Since I'm gonna bring my son along, I'm gonna ask him for advice. <laughs> he, he'll usually come up with some, uh, some good ideas. Yes! A resurrection potion, finally. Finally got one. Yes, okay, so that's it. I can only get three. <sighs> I'm still gonna fight easy monsters. So I was looking at the the processing power, how much RAM Heroes of Might and Magic uses. It barely uses anything. Like my my web page that I have open right now with the chat on, that that uses more RAM on my computer than the video game, right? Heroes free. So I may be able to stream that. I put a powerful fan on my in my computer, like an actual fan. That's that's what I'm using for my video card. Yeah, if I could stream Heroes 3, that would be cool. Save. Okay, so I am using a guide here, guys. Okay, so. We need to go to a village, right? Where there's, uh... Okay, so... The village of... Or the desert of Kitaran. There's a small village. Okay, so it's north... West of here. They apparently trade stuff for fangs. So from here on out, I'm gonna fight every every weaker monster that I can. These guys aren't that weak, but they're weaker than some of the some of the other monsters I was fighting, like the sea dragons. My guys apparently need to gain experience. this kind of looks like a, a deformed pac-man with his legs and arms
Yeah, the monsters look cool in this. They must have spent a lot of time on uh, designing the monsters. So I'm slowly getting experience. That's how you get experience in this game. Slow but surely. Fifty fangs, man. All that for fifty fangs. No thanks. The gym. Or is it a G G gym? The gym, the gym. Let's see how strong it is, if I can even fight it. Yeah, I, I could probably kill this thing. Hopefully it doesn't do any, uh... Stupid spells. Oh, guys getting some experience! Hey, Nexus, how's it going, bro? Yes, uh, this is on the Sega Master System. It's a game called Miracle Warriors. It's got some pretty cool monster designs. Uh, it's like a simplistic uh, dragon warrior with four characters. Ah, oh, come on. So... Until recently, there was no way to heal in battle. And I got three potions maxed, which helped me heal in battle. Okay, and here we are. Okay, so these guys trade fangs for something. So, impetuous youth. I will trade for 1,000 fangs, no less. The sphere contains infinite power. Rub it, and no evil being can stand up. Do ye by self. Itself. Nexus says, I'm doing okay, got a slight headache, but I took uh, ibuprofen. I should be okay. How's Zapperson? Zapperson's pretty, uh, pretty tired right now, so I made some coffee for the stream. I'm trying to drink as much as possible. I'm also trying to beat this game. I got a fetish for old ass RPGs. But not old ass PC RPGs, because I've seen some of those old old wizardry games. The oldest one I played was Wizardry 5, and I've seen the older ones. They they look so bad. They're trying to do 3D and like black and white. So I'll go old RPG just as long as it looks decent, right? Nexus says, I like RPGs as well, well, older ones. Yeah, yeah, for sure, right? This one is, is kind of a hidden gem on um, on the Sega Master System. Because it's, it's quite good. If you take out all the grinding from the game, it's a short game, but of course there's a lot of grinding. Uh, you need to go hunt your, uh, your equipment. I'll show you the status screen. It, it actually looks really cool. Yeah, so here's a status screen. Can't see main guy's portrait, but um, that's everybody else. That's the four main characters. And all, all, like, all their weapons there, they're all unique. So I have to go one by one get them. And I have to upgrade their swords and their weapons. And you start off with one character and then you start getting more and more. There's like barely any story, right? There's, there's some dialogue. And uh, if you don't have the main weapons, you need to get uh, regular old weapons from town, and, and everything's really expensive in the game. Uh, Nexus says, I've been playing Final Fantasy 2 SNES. It's, it's a fun game, easy but still good. Uh, Final Fantasy 4, right? Is it this one here? Final Fantasy 2? This one, right? Yeah, that one's good. Final Fantasy 4 used to be my favorite Final Fantasy until, uh, until Final Fantasy 6 became my favorite Final Fantasy. 
Next it says, it's technically 4, but it says 2 on it. Yeah, yeah. So when you said FF2 SNES, yeah. That's, that's what it was. Because we got FF1 on the NES. Then we got FF2 on the SNES. Then we got FF3 on the SNES. And until then, that's like all the Final Fantasies that we had. Besides Mr. Quest, right? Okay, so I am using a guide here. That's... That's a good one. The only thing I don't like about FF2 on the SNES, um, it's got some bugs. I don't remember exactly which, what was the bugs, but there's, there's like some, some stats that don't do anything, or, or some spells that don't do anything, or maybe items. So uh, I found other op like optimal ways of playing FF4. Uh, my favorite is the one on the DS. It's like a, it, it kind of looks like FF7. That one's really good. If not, if I'm gonna go old style, FF4, I really like it on, on the PSP. It's like pixel perfect pretty much. Meow says, we never got 2 until GBA, yeah? Well, actually, the actual 2. Nexus says, till they release Anthology and Chronicles, then we got the older games finally. Yeah, on the, uh, on the PlayStation, right? That's the best way to play FF1. Is, is on the PS1. I love that version. Okay, we can now consider the advice given by traveler merchants and white monks in accordance to the scrolls. Medi's town was once called Saria. The south wind carries the sweet and luscious fragrance of spring. Face not dawn means you should go west. Okay. Head eight days south from Tegea. Oh, okay. And you will find a laughing monument. Now go... Oh, okay. So. Let's do this. Uh, Meow says, I'd argue probably the PSP port. Uh, PSP port of FF4 is awesome. Yeah, it's 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 very tight. Nexus says, uh, I just picked up all the Pixel remasters. That's, that's one of the best ways to play it. Uh, I've seen the uh, Pixel remasters. It's... Like it looks great. It's very accessible, and there's and it's got FF one to six, right? Like for me, the only way that I could play FF three because I don't have Pixel Three Masters is uh, is the one on the DS, and it looks pretty good. I would definitely try that. Yeah, yeah, Pixel Three Masters is uh, FF one to uh, six, one. So let's let's do this. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Yeah, definitely, right? Accessibility wise, fix the remasters. But what's also cool about the uh, Super Nintendo, especially emulators, or if you have the, uh, the um, SNES EverDrive, right? You can play ROM hacks of uh, FF6. I'm not sure about FF2, but they they may have some ROM hacks, and some of these are really, really cool. There's like randomizers. So if you play the same game multiple times and you're tired of it, you could always switch the ROM hacks, right? Okay, so do I go in here? Okay, so now go west, and you will find another lofty monument. Eight days. So one, two, Three, four. Meow you know, says you should try the four job fiesta for FF5. Had an old friend into that. FF5. Which version of FF5? I I played it on. Uh, I played FF5 twi twice. I played it on Super Famicom emulator with a translation patch, and I played um, the one on GBA. What I really like about FF1 though is that it does spells like in Dungeons and Dragons. There's no MP, and you have an amount of times that you can use level one spells and level two spells and level three spells, right? You know, it says I don't know, but I'm guessing it's some kind of hack or patch or something for FF5. Oh, FF5 Fiesta is a ROM hack. Okay, cool. 
Yeah, that, that may be the next ever drive that I get. Super Nintendo. Okay, so now I go five five squares north. Okay, so north. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Um, then I go west three more days. Okay. Next it says, that's one. I'm going to get eventually love this nest. I'm surprised it's still working on. Yeah. There's there's still ROM apps coming out for the, for the NES. There's still video games coming out for the Genesis. Um, I'm pretty sure the demo is out for Castlevania Symphony of the Night for the Genesis. Right? And, and it, like, it looks pretty good. And it sounds pretty good. And it's amazing that... People are people are um, making these games, right? Not just ROM hacks, but like com completely new games from ground up. You now it says he kind of got me interested in Five. Never played it or owned it. You've never played Five? It's very grindy. So Five, I'd say, out of the first six games, it's got the best gameplay. I got a monument to Isom even here. Oh, okay. Can I not? Oh, I can't make a mistake, I think. Next it says, 5 is the one with Forest, right? I haven't beaten that one yet. Yeah, uh... I don't know if it's a chick or guy, but it's a pirate, right? Forest, yeah. And it's got, um, what is it called? That guy's name, uh... He's kind of like an anti-hero. And, and he keeps showing up. And he's got this epic music. Just like a boss fight every now and then. He's kind of like Ultros, but way cooler. You know, says my old friend's favorite character, Faris. Oh, it's a chick. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't sure. We can never tell with those old games. Gilgamesh. Oh, is he called Gilgamesh? Literally, the, um, the, um, what is it called? That's the myth of Gilgamesh from, um, uh, ancient Sumeria, right? Gilgamesh when he's uh, when he's hanging out with his buddy they go in, in the desert and his friend dies and he didn't know much about death right Gilgamesh this is probably like a, fi a 5,000 year old myth right and he sees his friend decaying beside him and he sees like maggots in his eye and he, he tells himself that's never going to happen to me. I'm going to find immortality. And he goes on this epic quest of like trying to find immortality from like village to village, place to place. It's uh, it's it's definitely um, one of the earliest stories ever written, right? Next it says the Epic of Gilgamesh, yeah. You know, it says gets harder form in FF4, the after years, as do many bosses. Which which one is the after years again? I just call them by their um, I call them by their what is it called by their uh, console names. You know, it says a sequel to FF4. Next it says, it's the one that takes up the four characters' kids. Seador? Ah, oh, shit. What is this enemy? Look at this. Look at these monsters.
I'll heal definitely before. Okay, so. You know, it says Cecil and Rosa's kids. What what console is that on? FF4 After Years. Yeah, Rosa, the ultimate healer. What I also loved about FF4 is that... Do I have to enter him one by one? I, I guess so, okay. Yeah, what I also loved about the After Years, or uh, FF4, was that you could use five characters in battle. I thought that was really, really cool. Um, you know, it says was originally on WiiWare. Oh, okay. It's on PSP and Steam. I see. Hey, Infinite Metal, how's it going? Yeah, I, uh, speaking of Steam, I found out about good old games. I mean, if you like, uh, if you guys like old, old computer games, it's just like Steam. Good old games. But, um, they'll have better versions of games that are on, on Steam. So you gotta, like, check both, uh, both platforms. Just, like, just to get the best deal, right? Nexus says good old games is awesome. Damn, free is always better option. True. But uh, good old games is cheap. I got uh, Heroes of Might and Magic 3. I've, I've been playing like crazy. I got it two weeks ago. And it had the ultimate version with, like, all the, all the expansions, right? That's a great game. I'd actually love to stream it, and I think I, I may be able to since it uses such little amount of RAM. Pinmel says, yep, the good old game version of Daggerfall Unity is top notch. Daggerfall, is that a D&D &D type, uh, type of game? I think I've heard of Daggerfall. It's, it's supposed to be like really, really good, one of the best games ever made. Uh, Nexus says, I like good old games, uh, I've got quite a few good pickups there lately for for super cheap. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely, right? Finmel says, people doing guides on Steam eventually were like, get the good old game version of the copy over files. If you really want it on Steam, Elder Scrolls 2 Daggerfall. Yeah, that's the Elder Scrolls game, I still think of pri uh, primarily okay I saw this uh, because I watch a lot of uh, video game content on YouTube uh, this this like this guy made an entire video about Daggerfall <clears throat> where he said this is the best game ever made and it was a long ass video I kind of passed out but he was going over it and uh, I mean I should check that out on good old games because those games are cheap right And the nice thing about these old ass games is if they use such little amount of RAM, my, my PC can actually handle it. So I play all my games on consoles because it doesn't use up any amount of RAM on my PC. So my PC runs fine and everything's good. But I can't play PC games and stream at the same time. My PC just shuts off. My, my, my video card is like pretty shit. Infinimo says Bethesda made Daggerfall. Really? Daggerfall three decades ago, so no reason not to try it out. Both Daggerfall and Arena. Okay, cool, man. Try it on. I will check it out. Bethesda, they've, yeah, they've really fallen off. Ever since Fallout 4. I think Fallout 3 was uh, peak. A voice can be heard from all around. He who hesitates is lost. <laughs> to you guys who just joined in, I'm playing a game called Miracle Warriors here. And it's a game on the second master system. And it's hard as balls. So I've been... I've been using a lot of save state. And I'm playing it on my Genesis. So I should be saving after hitting these monuments. So I'm supposed to apparently go on these uh, dildo shaped monuments here.
sandworm. Oh. So when I try to run away and I fail, the enemy hits all my guys. So I'm just gonna reload. Since it's faster than going back to town. Infinite Metal says, I'll say the Unity version fan redo of the engine. But seems Bethesda allowed now is clearly the way to play Daggerfall now, unless you want to take advantage of exploits, bugs that were in the original. Okay, so when you say fan fan redo, it's it's just like a, a mod, right? Because a lot of a lot of older PC games have mods on them. Voice can be heard from all around. He who hesitates is lost. Infinite Metal says, that's what the good old games version gives though, in a pack all set up well. Nice. Cool. Yeah, yeah, good old games just is just like Steam. It's very, very similar. Infinite Metal says, it's basically a mod, you need the original game for it to take the assets, but they redid a lot of the underlying stuff. It runs in Unity now. Okay, cool. And it's it's sort of like uh, it's sort of like an earlier version of Skyrim, right? It's like first uh, first person view, but it's RPG, so it's like um, it's like Baldur's Gate. Hey, Austin the Pass, how's it going, bro? What's up? Nexus says it looks so much better. I'm looking at a video right now on good old games. Okay, so definitely. Get the fan. Okay, I'm I'm just gonna grab uh, my notepad. I'm gonna write this stuff down. Cause I do want that. I have less work during uh, winter time, so I have more time to mess around with stuff like this. Just gonna grab my pen. Demo says, yeah, first person RPG. It's in the PC Western RPG style that was common in the mid '90s, rather than the JRPG style. Yeah, very, yeah, very cool. Um, I'm a fan of the Western style RPGs. I played a game called Stonekeep back in the day, in the mid '90s. Uh, Stonekeep was also real-time first-person dungeon crawler RPG. Okay, so it's called Unity Dagger. check it out. Uh, Infinite Metal says, Procedu procedurally generated massive world though, while parts of it are procedurally generated and overall world and towns were set. So it's it's sort of like Diablo or like uh, roguelikes from, from nowadays, right? A voice can be heard from all around. He who hesitates is lost. <laughs> Apparently it's uh, I keep getting the same messages. Okay, so here's the boss. Okay, so let's fight it. Nut. I need to nut all over this boss. Oh, it's fucking weak. So, I shouldn't use my nuts then. Hey, Apollo, how's it going? What's up? Infinite Metal says, yeah, I guess it's hard to explain, uh, thinking Skyrim is closer, but particularly the dungeons th uh, throughout the world are generated when you enter them. Yeah, it's like it's like Diablo. That's how uh, Diablo is. When you enter a dungeon, it's always different, right? So you gotta finish it in one go or else you can't, you're like, you can't save, shut off your PC, come back and then have the same dungeon. Uh, Alsta Pass says, by the way, Zap, I'm curious, did you stop putting up on Discord when you're not going to be streaming? Oh, so, yesterday I forgot, but I did mention it on my stream, that I wasn't going to stream uh, on Tuesday. 
because my son was was staying with me but uh thank you for uh, reminding me because i sh i should be putting it on on discord right i just forgot about yesterday i picked up my son from uh school and then the rest of the day was just like just, just gone paul says chilling making myself a few braces nice nice but yeah i'll i'll definitely stay on top of it and then post it on on discord so this guy puts my guys to sleep and he's actually pretty weak so with the sleep spell your characters go to sleep and they take damage it's very very powerful Yeah, definitely gonna check out Daggerfall. That's that's pretty sweet. And I'll check out how much RAM it runs. Cause I'm wondering, um I think that's how I'll be able to stream PC games. I'll, I'll compare I've already ran Langrisser Mobile and What was the other game? Anyways, games that I ran on on PC, I got a RAM checker. It actually shows me how much RAM it, it uses, right? And if it's not too much, I could stream it. That's the pass is cool. Don't sweat it though. I think Daggerfall is free on Steam. You also played it? <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah, we're we're talking about good old games and uh, old school PC games, like PC RPGs. Because I'd love to also stream Baldur's Gate. That's one game I played one time over, this was like, I think it was in the late 90s, and I thought Baldur's Gate was great, man, Baldur's Gate 1 and 2, you can transfer your guys over, oh my god, oh, it's so good, that's the pass says, but I didn't really enjoy it, wow, okay, all these guys here, they're all boasting about Daggerfall, and then you, you come in here, Alice in the Paz, and you're like, I didn't enjoy it, fair enough. Nexus says it's free everywhere. Bethesda made it free for all. Nice. Pinamel says, yeah, you should at least be able to run the DOS box version. I mean, back when it was made, they were still doing RAM in kilobytes, I think. Hunter says, okay, now that my audio is fixed, hello, sir. Hey, you're back, Hunter. What's up? Uh, Alstapaz says, I'm not into the old tabletop RPG formula way too frustrating for me oh I see okay I I love it because I kind of grew up with it I played um, with with Dave here right I don't know if he's here but uh, we used to play tabletop RPGs we used to get like get together in groups and he was the dungeon master and uh, he had a shadow on game he had a dungeon game so I I got a hang of like the uh, indie style games how it works with with a dice roll and how you don't have MP usage, you have like amount of times that you can use the level spells when you're a sorcerer or wizard. Alstapaz says, you know when armor makes things miss. Yeah, so you have HP and you have your armor rating and the lower your armor rating, uh, the better it is. So think, like think golf, right? So there's no defense. It's, uh, you only get hit or it's a miss, right? So having high HP is pretty important. Nexus says, the Unity uphaul made it a lot better. The original was super bad graphically. Okay, okay. So I need to get the Daggerfall with the expansions and then get the, get the mod for it, okay. Yeah, this guy's annoying. He's not tough, but... Finally got him. The Bacels is dead. There's a small box. Open it. Fools, the seal of the Dark Lord waits. Not for Dowdo here. Oh, what the fuck? Thou has badly injured the Black Monk and his retainer. Okay. 
Uh, Elsa Pass says, yeah, Daggerfall is pretty much like that. Uh, I didn't get too far into it. There was a long ass dungeon at the start. Got lost in it. <laughs> Infinimel says, I want to say it was that bad. Uh, it was just old and low res. I've just, uh, Elsa the Pass, I've just heard, I've never played Daggerfall, but I've heard how, uh, how good it was and people boasting about it being like one of the best games ever made. Infinite Metal says, I was, it was amazing for the time, and I was still playing Arena fine 10 years ago. Nexus says, I only have the Unity one, and it is working just fine. It's very cool. Okay, so I'm also using a guide here on my phone, and I'm, and I'm using a, a map there on my screen. Okay, so, so I'm pretty much almost at the end of the game. There is... This is where most adventurers get stuck in the game. What we must remember are the descriptions of Ayasan that are important clue regarding the actual distances covered in this scroll. Ayasan was twice as fast as a normal man of great stature. Thou art only about half as big as Ayasan. Okay. So... Given this information, we can deduce that Ayasam moves at twice our speed, so we must double the distance indicated. So 16 squares for his direction apply. Conquering, oh, considering all of the above information, you, you will start from Tega heading 16 squares south, rest on a patch of desert surrounded by mountains. Okay, so we need to get back to the, the city here. Uh, okay, Alstapas says, this is why I tried Baldur's Gate 1, almost dropped it because of the same reason, but the rich world got me hooked. Bro, Baldur's Gate 1 blew my mind away. It's it's that good. It's got such a cool story. It's like the Highlander, right? The, the story where, um, I don't want to spoil much, but there's all these guys that are all connected and, and they're all like adventurers. And each time one dies, the rest get closer to the ultimate prize. So as they get picked off, and there's only a small amount left, they all have statues as well, right? So when one dies, there's a room where, where, where the statue crumbles. So in the end, apparently when there's one left, he gets the ultimate prize, which is probably some like crazy ass magic spell, right? So it's it's... The game has an amazing storyline. I think it's got some of the coolest character creations. Because when I play Baldur's Gate, um, I built five characters out of six. Apparently, um, you, uh, you're supposed to have NPCs with you, right? But, but you're not required to have any NPCs, so you could actually build six characters. So six is the maximum amount of character slots. And I just like it a lot. I like to build my uh, badass party, right? And the the actual combat is is so is so technical. Where even if you're higher leveled, you get in the combat, you could die. Your whole team can get wiped out so you'll be doing a lot of reloading there's traps and everything that's the past says wait you can do that yeah you can build more than one character it's like wizardry remember when i was playing wizardry i had a team of five or six that's how Baldur's gate is yeah you could have a a fighter with a sword or an axe whatever then you could have a fighter with a bow you could have a cleric you could have a sorcerer, you could have a wizard, you could have a rogue. Right. It's cool, man. There may be some NPC missions where you need two NPCs. But I'm not sure about that. I'm pretty sure one NPC slot is enough, so having five characters is good. Alstapas says, I want to see you try the modern takes of Baldur's Gate 1 formula sometimes in the future. Well, if I'm going to test it, 
I, I figured out a way. I, I saw when I was playing uh, Heroes 3 that got me clued in is that I need to um, I need to check how much RAM it uses. If it doesn't use enough RAM, if it uses just a little bit, then I can stream it, right? I'd have to do my setup differently, but it doesn't really matter. Oh, what? I could have more than 20? Huh. As the past says, like, tyranny where your character is a minion of an evil emperor. What? What is that? I'm pretty sure the this, this story is uh, you start off the game and then there's that wizard, right? Okay, so I gotta go all the way down here. a good monster to fight. Also the past says Tyranny is another game but plays similar to Polar's Gate 1 and 2. Here, I'm gonna write it down. I do. I love those type of games. Yeah, also in, in Baldur's Gate, right? So, you build your characters, and what you gotta do, you gotta play the expansions of Baldur's Gate 1. So you transport your characters over to the expansion, right? So you keep building them. And then, when you're done that, you get to actually start Baldur's Gate 2 with the characters that you built. So you get to transfer them over. I forgot what transfer is over, but it's it's pretty cool. Uh, Alstapa says, people say good things about it. There's also Pillars of Eternity. Pillars of Eternity. Pillars of Eternity, okay. Man, it boggles my mind how big Baldur's Gate 1 is, even without the expansions. It's, it's huge, right? Yeah, there's just so many side quests, so many characters in it. Okay, uh, it's called Pillars of Eternity. I know what you mean though, when I first... Etern when I first found out how Armor System works in D&D, because I played JRPGs first. It bothered me a lot. Awake Giant? Oh, what? Yeah, it bothered me a lot how uh, Western RPGs didn't have defense, it was all armor class. But the more I learned about it, about the game's mechanics, the more I learned how to have good armor class. There's multiple things that you could do, you could cast a spell on yourself, or you could wear good armor. Uh, I'm pretty sure some rings, some accessories also reduce your armor class, so there's a lot of ways to reduce it. And once it's like below minus 5, you're 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 like crazy nothing can hit you so enemies have to use spells on you so if you have high hp and resistances then you're even tougher right okay so what do i have to do here what do i do search a square okay so i gotta pick this one come i also song oh where so we're in here huh? okay so, now, and you will enter Rokot's Catacomb. So what I've been doing, I've been actually, uh, again, I've been using guides, because fuck the difficulty of this game. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to open up, I'm going to open up a map here, it's called Raw codes, it's R O K H O D catacombs. Catacombs map. See if it shows up. Oh, I didn't, I didn't even have to put miracle words, it just showed up. That's awesome. Okay. 
Okay, cool. So this is the first key that I'm going to get. There's three keys that I need to get to get to the main boss. Pretty cool. Okay, so. We go like that. Okay, we go down here. There's a way of getting stuck here. I think I'm gonna fight these guys. Yeah, they're pretty weak. I gotta spread that love. Lovely experience. Are you training farms? I'm gonna save after every battle. Oh, look at that critical. But if, when I do stream on my PC, you guys won't get to see a, a cool background like this. Oh, you know what I'll do? I'll do green screen when I stream on my PC. How about that? I'll do a different setup. Thinking about that. Save after every battle. I got tons of healing as well. Two steps, and we got a battle. You know what I wish the EverDrive had? I, I realize it's, it's not an emulator, right? The EverDrive is it's just a data pack. But I wish it had a way to do a faster speed, you know, like two times speed or three times speed. All the way right. I'd probably end up using it all the time. But grinding and doing these battles would be sure helpful. Paul says, we love me not being able to sleep. Are you having sleep problems again, Paulo? Uh, Alistair passed this weird decision that the small map in the corner is where you have to be looking when not in battle. Yeah, the small map at the top right. Yeah, that's your map. This is OG, right? Original. Says, yeah, I having sleep problems here lately. The worst part about sleep is um, the less we sleep, the more problems we have. Uh, I'm not sure how it works for like uh, uh, females, but for men, when we sleep, our body produces more and more testosterone, so it helps us heal faster. Uh, 
it makes your mind sharper like it makes you on point right and when we don't sleep we got less testosterone so we lose less fat we gain more weight so sleep is like sleep is crazy important think of uh, think of newborn babies all they do is like sleep eat and sleep right and they build muscle and they grow from sleeping it's that important Ostapa says, yeah, otherwise it looks great, especially for a Master System game, right? Yeah, yeah, I'd say, if anybody says, ask me, hey, what RPGs do you recommend on the Master System? I'll say, I know two, and they're pretty damn good. One is Fantasy Star, which is, I'd say it's like better than even Super Nintendo games. And Miracle Warriors. I like this better than uh, Dragon Warrior. I'll say that. Dra like, Dragon Warrior is so cumbersome and it's still hard to play on the NES. Same as Final Fantasy 1 on the NES. Okay, so that's the treasure. Oh, there was a boss? Oh my god! I'm reloading. <laughs> and I'm gonna heal. Of course there's a boss. Game's going into overdrive now. Oh man, so there's gonna be three bosses? I'm hoping I don't have to use my nuts and my stabs and all that good stuff. Because I gotta run around the map getting all that stuff again. Come on man, how do you miss? At least the monsters are weak here. Easy experience. I don't have monsters just casting spell after spell. Okay, so. Heal. Might as well do full heals. I don't know that's going to waste some HP. So, how you get over 20 healing potions, you can only get 20, but if I go to 19, right? If I have 19 and I buy healing potions, you only buy 5 at a time, I could go up to 24. So, I just found that out. This playthrough. Okay. Let's see this boss. Rock Hog. It doesn't look too bad. I think I could beat this guy. He's not crazy. Oh my god. He does flame spell? Oh my god. Says, what RPG would you recommend to someone who never played any RPGs whatsoever? What RPG to start off with? Um, has this person played retro games? Like, has, has he or she played uh, NES games, NES games, Genesis games? If not, I would recommend something modern. Something like... Uh, I'd say like Star Ocean. It's not too complicated. Now it says Final Fantasy Mystic Quest is a fun one. Mystic Quest to a person who's never played RPGs? What if they've never played retro games? I I would not recommend retro RPGs. Secret of Mana, yeah. If this person has never played RPGs but has seen it, I would say Retro RPG. Um, I would recommend Fantasy Star 4. Then another easy one would be 
Uh, Final Fantasy VI. That's another one. Chrono Trigger. We got... You know, it says for modern Tales games. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like Star Ocean or like Tales games. Yeah, for modern. Yeah, you know, it says especially Tales of Symphony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff like that, right? I'm sure they uh, it would get them into RPGs. Then they could dabble into older stuff. I might have to repeat this battle. I don't want to use my items. Even um, even the Xbox 360 has a lot of RPGs. Like, let's say this person never played any RPGs, and they got a Wii. Uh, no, not a Wii, a, um, a Switch. I'd say get the new Super Mario RPG. You know, it says Earthbound is quirky as hell. Undertale. Earthbound? Yeah, I, I don't know. I never liked Earthbound. Blasphemy! I'll probably end up streaming it once I get my, my hands on the EverDrive, right? Because I did play Earthbound, I just never beat it. I think I got to the part where uh, the Asian kid or the Asian character, the monk with the with the hairdo, you know, he's all bald and he's got the hair that's all like tied up. Oh, Pooh, is that his name? Yeah, I I got to that part. You know, it says Undertale scratches the RPG and rhythm game itches of sorts. Alstapa says, I played only a bit, but Earthbound looked like it would suck ass. Yeah, it looks like dog shit, but it's uh, it's a huge game. It's deep. The combat system is uh, well made. Uh, the only thing I didn't like was the UI and the inventory system. That the, the inventory system fucking pissed me off. You have to buy like items one at a time, and you have to put them in the, inside the bank. You know, it says it's hard, but it's so quirky and goofy. The battle system is pretty dope, though. Oh, come on. But, I mean, Chrono Trigger, like, like you can't go wrong with, with Chrono Trigger. It's It's got a great pace. Uh, cool story, cool characters. It's not too long. Zaf gets the key of the heaven from the corpse of the rock hod. Okay, so they're not hard. They are beatable, that's good. Uh, Meow says the rolling air HP is cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in the battle system, the uh, when when you get hit, let's say you got 500 HP and then you get hit for 400, your HP goes slowly down. Right? Or let's say you got KO'd, okay? So your HP is going to go in, uh, go into zero and it goes down slowly. You can heal. And then you can save your guys, right? Which is pretty cool. Uh, Meow says, you have a shot at saving your character from death. If fast enough, yeah. Can't go wrong with Chrono Trigger. Yeah, Chrono Trigger is great. I just hope that I don't have to play it for a long, long time. Let's play the shit out of it so many times. Okay. So, items? Where would it be? Oh, my guy! <gasps> Check out my, my stuff. 
I need to find that uh that that blacksmith guy. Oh my god, no. It's one of these enemies. One of these enemies kills the blacksmith. Okay. Well that sucks. Anyways. Yeah, one of these guys killed my killed my blacksmith. God damn it. Now I gotta backtrack and find the blacksmith. I don't remember where it was. Probably one of these crap enemies. Also, let's say if said person had a had a PlayStation, and they had, and they had never played RPGs, and they had a PlayStation, I'd say FF7. Start with FF7, right? It's very story based. It's very good. Killed my blacksmith. What a douchebag. Who killed my blacksmith? Oh my god. Each step that I take. Smith. Yeah, it's gonna be a pain in the ass to prepare everything. Oh my god. One step at a time. Hey guys, we're the devs. Do you know how we make our players take a long time to beat our game? How we elongate our game? We 
make sure to put shit loads of random encounters. 50% random encounter rate. Each step you take, it will ruin you. Have you seen Godzilla? Also the past? Look at how expensive. 1400 bucks. Holy heal. They thought this was a good idea at the time. Healing singularly like this. Okay. Let me look up the blacksmith. Where to get the blacksmith, okay? Miracle Warriors... Blacksmith. Blacksmiths can repair your weapons, the status screen, screen contains a number of uses, blah blah blah. Some blacksmiths may even be convinced to travel with you. Oh, I see. So it's not in a specific town. In town. Well, let's go find a blacksmith. It's the red buildings. So apparently the five hundred dollar donation is for it's for uh, advice. This is a smithy I had a problem with the master. I was fired. Oh cool, yes. So which enemy kills the blacksmith? That's what I'm wondering. Okay, so white spears don't bring back the dead. You can hire a blacksmith to automatically repair the armor. Okay, yeah. yeah. If you talk to him afterwards, okay. So how does he die? Okay, if you fight a specific enemy in the game, your spinny gets murdered. So it's Basel's. Uh, Basel's, okay. So remember that boss I fought? That's what it was. He fucking killed my dude. He killed my blacksmith. How dare you? Okay, we got the blacksmith back. It's vital or else my items can break, right? Look at that, he's back there. He's back. Okay. Now, next key. Where is the next key, man? 
Now move your party back to where you found Rookout's Shrine. You'll find... Okay, search 16 squares west of Rookout's Shrine. So... 26. It's Rookout Cave. Where's this thing? Shit, it's not on the map, is it? What is 28? 28. Boho Cave. 29 is Gelkis Monument. So it's all places west in the desert from here. So, what? Where is Rocco's Shrine? Enter or Rocco's? Seho's Catacombs. Where is Seho's Catacombs? Oh, okay. You know where I just was? It's 16 steps to the left of there. West. Let's go, go, go. Send in the Marines. Send in the Marines. Okay, so what is this called? This one is called... I'm gonna find the map! Sehod's Catacombs. Okay, so this one's actually, ugh, by the ways. God damn it. Same shit enemies. I haven't even gained one level this stream, guys. The left. Then up. Rohai. Okay. I'm beating this game tonight, guys. It's getting done. This game has no chance. I'm beating it tonight. Unless if I have to grind ridiculous amount of HP, then or levels, then it's gonna be very hard to beat. Okay, so left up. 
Wow. Do I fight this? Yeah, I might as well fight. Oh, wow. These guys were actual bosses. And my guy missed. And now this way. I'm like halfway there. I could actually level up my main guy. Pretty easily probably. It's almost there. But I want to keep uh, all my guys closely leveled. This way I'm actually getting fangs where I can get some more of that some more of those items. 1,000 fangs each. Oh. Hit first! Hit first! Yes! Good job. It's pretty much almost there. Yeah, again, Medi is the only, out of my four characters, she's the only one who can critical. And critical does something like uh, 1.5 times damage, which is huge. Uh, almost there. Second key boss. Would have been cool if they added small sound every time I heal or something. Okay. Here's the boss. Sehood! Oh man! This thing looks even tougher. Oh man, did I just miss? Oh, he missed. That's good. And the enemy doesn't seem like it's got spells. I was hoping Medi would do a critical attack, but I got none. Good, good, good. Yeah, so speaking of kick.com, the platform I'm, stre I, I'm streaming on, right? Um, before the chat would never get deleted, now the they seem to be deleting the chat, which is very, very nice. Ugh. So when I start a new stream, the old chat isn't there, right? 
and I haven't had any disappearing messages. Maybe they fixed it, or have I been hitting RNG? Again, I still think this thing's gonna, this boss is gonna cast spells. So I'm kind of holding my breath on this. Ah oh man, come on. Yes, critical, look at that. You did it, critical. And we got it. The boss gives me 54 fangs, wow. Gets the key to Earth from the corpse of Shead. Let's check out my items. Oh, look at that. Look at that. And I still have my blacksmith. And I can probably get another sphere. Yeah, I sure can. Yeah, I was just making sure I didn't load by accident there. Okay, so... Heal. I wanna... I wanna fight the monsters way out of here, right? Since I have so much money, might as well use up these healing items. Okay, so save. Ugh, disgusting. I never want to fight those Sambis. So I got one more key and where the next dungeon is, it's actually north of here. So we'll go back to the village. steps north of here. I wonder if I could just go in and do it. Probably have enough herbs, right? <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna have to head to the village. Oh my god. They just don't stop coming. Educk. Educk. Crushing attack. Oh my god, she even missed. God, I think we got four attacks on us. Oh, crap. Okay, reload. Well, I would fight this thing. I got no issue with fighting it. Except cast spells. And there's another one. Yeah, these enemies, these are good to fight. And they don't hit very hard. Critical, very nice. He does one more critical, this enemy's dead. Trail, trail, trail. Big lit, big lit, trio, trio, trio. There's a 10 hour version of uh, Diglett and Trio, Bug Trio, on YouTube. You can watch it for 10 hours. It's on Weepy. Pretty nice. 
so relaxing. Oh my god, I took one step. I got a little bit further, man. With each step, I go further and further. hit hard too, or whatever they're called. Okay, so let me just check the next dungeon. Hold, oh, hold. Oh, oh, oh. oh, hold. Oh, hold. Go find it. It's actually not bad. Maybe able to reach it. Yeah, I may have enough actually. I'm just not gonna fight much. So I'll try to run away from like every single battle. Okay. But this next place, it's kinda kinda like hidden. So this, this one, it's actually closer, another dungeon, there's a way to the right and way to the left, and you gotta go the way to the left, or right. Ugh. Yeah, just reload whenever I, I get hit by monsters, that way I'll have enough herbs, right? Get to the boss. I, I'll make sure to. Oh my God, this is gonna be rough. I can't just reload when I'm getting a attacked. Uh, for me to pull up the screen, the save state screen, I gotta be able to do action. So the chest is just up these walls. So we're gonna go this way. I'm like halfway there. Inutas. It's like a baby microbe. Actually almost there. Nice. Wow. This thing was a boss. Let's heal. The 
this boss might be ridiculous. And I have enough herbs to get me back. There it is, okay. So this guy's even got more HP. So I'm hoping it doesn't cast any spells. Doesn't look like it's much stronger than the last three. Just the uh, the boss health has been going up. The, the first Ohod had less health, the second one more, third one more. But they seem to be doing around the same damage. I don't think it's got any spells, but let's not count on that. Yes! Okay, she did one critical, that's good. will give me my third key and after this I think it's just the last boss now I got one worry is that I may be under leveled for the boss the last boss right I hope I'm not hope I can just kill him by using all my nuts and all my earthquake stops Cool, that was actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. Zaf gets the key of hell from the corpse of the Oho. On. Let me just read this. Okay. Battery replacement done. And we'll just keep going. I have to replace the battery on my microphone. See? So you're going to save your game before going to Gelki's Shrine. Make sure you have the following items. Six nuts, four stones of protection, six stones of protection, four staffs, one sphere, and three potions. Resurrection. Your maximum life bar should be at least under where Treo is standing. The character screen. Okay. Want to stand a chance to beat the Dark Lord? Travel back to where you found the Oho Shrine. Okay, so at least to Treo's portrait. Okay.
Oh. Uh, no, I think I'm one or two levels behind. Oh my god. No. <laughs> Do I have to level up for like an hour? Watch, I level up for an hour, I level up one guy. One level. Motherfucking mosquito. Suck it. How'd you get in the house, huh? I like to leave my front door open for some pressure. Speaking of which, I should open the front door. It's getting, uh, it's getting hot in here. Okay, just like that. Cool, I'm almost at the end of the game, man. Almost done the game, yes. At least, at least two more levels. Wow. Games like foot. I'm way too hardcore for you. Okay, so I have everything. Everything there, and I have the sphere, right? So my items are on set. It's just my levels now. Crack his head open. healing time yeah it's crazy because at this point in the game enemies don't give me money what's crazy about it is uh, spend like 20 grand just in healing. So Geki's Monument. 29. 29. Okay, so basically the, where the last dungeon was, I just gotta go left of there. So, let me pull up the map. I'm hoping it's gonna be a gonna be a small map. Oh my god! So okay, remember those dungeons I was at? It's like three levels of those going down, three basement levels. Oh my god! Wow. So there's warp traps as well. Oh my god. 50 herbs? Holy shit. Okay, so... There's a stone of protection in there, which I'm, I don't need. It doesn't matter. Start here, then you go there. Then you come back up here. Oh my god, wow. Okay, that's, that's gonna be quite the distance. But I got a heal save on my orb. 
save state on my side. I should be fine. I'm gonna try to level everybody a one and see how that works. It's 8 p.m. here. And I'm hoping I could do this under an hour. Yeah, these are actually good enemies to fight for leveling. Shit for bangs and money, but I don't need that crap, right? I'm wondering if there's other enemies here. Oh my god, yeah. I think these are the guys that put me to sleep. They got flame spells. Wow, yeah. These enemies suck. These are good to fight. Go, go, go! Avoided the attack? Don't be a piece of crap, man, you three-eyed piece of crap. Holy shit, look at the bottom. I just realized that it's got a face. It's got horns on a face. And on top of that, there's three eyes. It's got two faces. Let's kill this thing. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Oh. Another one! I wanna fight those three eye dudes. They're easy monsters and they give good experience. Oh, you leveled up! I was actually saving his attack. I wish I could switch party members around so I just have to press AAA. I don't have to press down. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like I need one more level. Fuck. Oh, 
It's gonna be long and hard, man. Long and hard grinding. Over and over again. You know what would be cool too if I could just take off the messaging? How fast the battles would go. Listen to status screen. Go my levels. What level my guys are. Let me check after this. This main dude's ahead one level. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's B. I'm gonna try it. <sighs> but hold on, if I get to the boss and I'm not strong enough, and I can't kill him, I'll have to come back out. And it looks like a big ass dungeon. It's MAGA. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, wow. Yeah, my guy hit way harder now. Or my main guy. Fuck you, man. Stop. I'm waiting. Fucking attacks. Look, Trail's already beat up. You know what? I'm gonna look up best spot to level up.
both farm ranks. Disclaimer, this is the first written guide I've done. Uh, splitting up your combo pieces. I'm playing a homebrew Miracle Warriors with some... Oh, okay. It's a ROM hack homebrew, right? No, nobody's talking about it, man. See, I just want to know what level I gotta be. No good leveling spots. Just wherever I want to level up. That's what I'm wondering. Is it the best the best spot is over here? Why don't I try going north? don't want to fight any monsters that have spells that way I could just continuously farm something like this try here if there's any monsters here. There's a village up here, I think. Where is this? Oh, I gotta cross the river, okay. Yeah, look, I got the same one experience. put you to sleep. Oh 
Uh, I'm wondering if I can fight here. Obviously not in the water. Fight some weak ass enemies. Wondering if I should really fight the boss. Well, you know what? I could save it in game on the actual game and use save state as my secondary. And if I'm not strong enough to fight the boss, to beat the boss, I could just reload for my regular game. as merchants. I think if fighting up there was better. Smag. It's already been 20 minutes and I haven't even leveled up anybody yet. I'm not counting main dude because he was, was ready to level up. Yeah, I think doing it both save methods and attacking the boss that might work. Then I won't have to level up everybody again without knowing, right? These are the best enemies to fight. They barely do any damage. And they got a good amount of life.
Oh, this, this is so fucking mindless, man. Mindless level grinding. As I grow older in age, I've hit 41, right? Just... I don't want to level grind like this anymore. So from now on, if you guys recommend me an RPG game, I'm going to ask how much grinding do I have to do? And I might disqualify RPGs based on that. start slaughtering travelers then they'll learn to stay home Out, man. I'm gonna pass out from boredom. Did you guys see the the new death battle, Galactus versus Unicron? It came out, I think, yesterday or the day before. I just watched it. messed up. You could fight a, a noob enemy. From the beginning of the game, I still miss them. skin
<sighs> I'm gonna try fighting those assholes. White monk. You're not white, you're blue. You're a blue monk. Oh my god, it's it's almost 8 30. Still no level up. The other game that I did, the other RPG I did a lot of level ups, grinding, is uh, Final Fantasy 7 that I've done on stream. Not counting like actual games I've played in my life, but just stream wise, Final Fantasy 7 was the worst one. That was kind of fun though. sleeping. Trio, trio, trio. Oh my god. Fuck you, you piece of fucking shit. Why do you go before me? That asshole wasted so much of my time. Okay, everybody's fully healed. Oh my god. Mosquitoes alive in there. Oh, that winter. Must be nuclear winter mosquitoes. The biggest assholes known to men. Imagine that, mosquitoes at winter time.
Yeah, I don't want to do another level up with everybody. You know how long that's going to take? Sleep. No, Maddie, you should be going first, not the enemy. Another one of these guys, yeah, that's just uh, great. And first move it does is sleep. Asshole move. first no matter what oh really yeah I just attacked with Medi yeah and then you just put her to sleep because you went first <sighs> wow now Treo missed oh my god it's putting me to sleep again this is the fucking lamest enemy in the game man Try running. Everybody gets hit. It's like, no, I have to waste your time by putting you to sleep. I have to. You can't run. No, don't run. Oh my god. Go away. Besides those enemies, this is a good spot to grind. I should quit this game right here, rage quit, right at the end.
Another one. Yeah, sure. Sure, give me that, that guy. Give me the lamest enemy. While all I want to fight is these guys. They're named Guru. They're the best enemy. I seriously think that the devs for this game basically took words and just spelt them backwards for the enemy, the monster names. Alucard. <laughs> That was a critical, wasn't it? One hit KO. Go at that village. Let's grind over there since I'm almost done. Crit, Medi, crit. Yes. Restoration potions. So close to level ups, man. Oh my god. 
brutality. Finish him. I should go get those potion things. For the fangs. It's northwest of here in the desert, right? And I'll kill monsters and level up on the way. Like this motherfucker. Oh, puts my guys asleep. Wow. Oh, guy leveled up. Unbelievable. Yeah, I'm just gonna try retreating. Trail, trail. Little bitch. Yeah, those enemies are way too strong. Oh my god. It's a bug. get one of those? Oh, okay, sure, whatever. Sure. Cool, this is enough to level up both my guys. Oh my god. That's it. We're done. Okay, now, go to the village, save, oh. Disgusting, I should've saved. heal, do a final save, and then let's head to that dungeon. I'm hoping this is enough life. Enough level ups to actually beat the game. Just double check here. I think I need one more, but I may be able to beat the game. Okay, so I'm gonna take a quick break, guys, and then, uh, oh, first I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a real save. and then we'll try to beat this game, okay? 
Okay. So I'm gonna snap. I'm looking at the map. God damn it, where is this place? Why can I not enter it? Stop fucking 
bothering me. I'm trying to find this secret last stage. Okay, so. So, here. That's it! Come, Ayasaur. Yes! Okay! Final dungeon map is... Now. Fucking saving. step a battle is that how it's gonna be okay first first dungeon completed save now let's go to the second floor okay Those stairs there they just saw, those are that's a trap. Oh my god, one fucking step. So I gotta go up, right up, now all the way down, and the stairs should be here. Level 3, okay, so now I'm at level 3. Okay, go up, Idios. I took one fucking step. They're all cocksuckers here, man. Okay, up and then here. So that's that's where the boss is. Or so the game says. Okay, let's fucking heal everybody. Yeah okay, guys, wish me luck.
such strong magic. Holy shit, the enemy's got tits? It's a she-demon. Look at that. She got nipples and tits and everything. Holy fuck. Okay. Whoa, look at that HP. Holy shit. So let's start off with Nut. Thanks, Meow. It's a titty demon. That's what it is. She titty demon. I think that's the that's on the cover of the Japanese version of the game. By the way, Sega Master System games Japanese look awesome. Throwing my nuts on her titties. That's actually happening in the game. Check it out. I'm gonna nut on her titty. Yep. For real. No, I've used up all my nuts. I'm all nutted out. Okay, next is stuff. Deals good damage, but only have four of them. So I have three healing potions as well. Let's make sure that my microphone does not run out of battery. Oh, okay, so... Stone. Protection didn't work, okay. So I got six of these. Okay, it worked. Awesome. So what Stone of Protection does, it blocks spells from the enemy. Okay, now Sphere. Oh, Sphere is like one attack. Okay. Okay, so I'm out. Now now we fucking fight. We fight, guys. Okay, Treo, you go first. Oh my god. Ooh, Treo missed. Miss Treo, okay, so I'm gonna actually save since she missed. Wow, a lot of damage. Miss Treo again, okay, save. Okay, Medi. Oh, I, I'm gonna reload. That was dumb. I can't be missing her at all. I cannot be missing my attacks. the third time okay oh fuck me man I wanted to save not retreat load that would have been a good save Oh, I missed the enemy. Fuck! <laughs> Press retreat by accident. Yep, trail's dead. 
pub, which is pretty cool. Come on, because I gotta press both buttons and down at the same time. That's why it's doing that. Here, I'll, I'll do it here. Oh my god. Can I just fucking reload? Basically, I'm, I'm, what I'm doing here, I'm manipulating hits, so I never miss, and the enemy misses just like that. again. my secret weapon in this battle with the criticals. say about the potion and restoration. Beauty. I want to actually save. She hit a crit on her first attack. RNG here. Some bullshit RNG. Oh, we missed. Save. Ah, ready. Come on, 
on, hit a crit. Come on, baby. Hit a crit. Nice. Beauty, okay. I'll probably take this as a save. Miss, miss, ah. Must be for five that. The village of restoration. Oh, the village of restoration. Let me try these potions. It's full heal. Okay, it's a full heal. Yeah, let's let's use it on Medi. She's got to, I'll go with this, Medi has to do two criticals and get missed once. Also, I don't think I'm beating this boss. There you go. With one life bar, she got two criticals and got missed once. Okay. Now let's use a potion. Okay, so same deal. So I got the boss more than halfway down. Enemy missed. Okay, perfect. Let's save that. And I hit a crit. I saved two. So on the first two attacks, I got missed and I hit a crit. So this is a really good run. Another crit. Come on, Medi, you're on fire. Another crit! That's three crits. missed again. Okay, I'm gonna save this. Yeah, without those potions, I wouldn't be able to beat this. I don't even know if I can still beat it. Okay. Oh, man, he missed. Again. 
three crits on the enemy missed. Trying to get a crit for the, from those last two hits or a miss. Yes! I got a crit. Okay. Let's save. That's four crits and two misses. Save. Okay. Potion. Ready. No more potions. That's it. Now I'm gonna try to manipulate this again. Another crit. Yeah, there's, there's no way I could beat this boss at this level. There's absolutely no way. Besides manipulating the game like this. naked that's crit okay save now the enemy has to miss me Another crit. Oh, I should take that. Because I hit four crits. Three. Another crit. You know what? I'll take it. Okay, now. Now it's Guy's turn. I'm hoping the enemy misses. I miss even a single hit.
Oof. You're rough. Look, look at look at the boss. Like she's got such little life left. Enemy missed, okay. That's what I was looking for. Okay, now save. Now the same thing with trail. Oh, enemy missed again. Okay, okay, okay. Manipulation to the max here. I'm gonna actually do the main dude now. I need like three, three to four misses. I actually have enough life. Let me just run it through. Oh, main dude this? Uh-uh. Yeah, that ain't gonna work. All that trouble. 100% accuracy hit. This is tense, man. This is an intense battle. I'm a cheese. This demon's tits and ass. Cheese all over it. Okay, she missed good. I think I got it. Okay, now, now trail. Oh, trail fucking miss. I'm gonna definitely get some uh, deaths in here, which which was plan B. Oh yeah, we got her, we got her. This, this is it, GG guys. No fucking deaths. I cheesed it. Super finger slap to the max. Zaf defeated Terrarin. Her name is Terrarin of the Titty Land. <laughs> GGVL. The Dark General in Mortal Kombat. Oh shit. Finisher! Entering the depths of the shrine, Zaf finds a chest. Within lay man's last hope, the seal of the Dark Lord. and his companions came to fulfill Ayasan's prophecy and the people of the five lands weary from despair rejoiced the elders led the miracle warriors to evil's gate after a raging battle of sword and sorcery the evil terrorin of the Tiddy Land was defeated, 
Zaf took the seal of the Dark Lord and used it once again to shut the Pandora Passage, returning peace to the Five Lands. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You know, it says, oh, the Dark Lord, LOL ending. Yeah, that's the ending. Awesome, so awesome. Thou were able to accomplish much. Who is this person? Everyone in the land honors thy triumphs. They have long awaited this day. Thou were able to seize the seal. Days of peace have returned at long last. Brave Zaf, I knew thee surely would be triumphant. Thy feats will become legend in the land for all eternity. Thy bravery brought us the victory. I will never forget thee. It was a joy to fight at thy side. Fare thee well. Call on me to join thee in thy next quest. These are my... Th my my companions, right? They're the heroes. May ye never come to harm. The end. You know, it's this good time and my phone is about to die. I hope I can make it through the ending. Yes, yes. That's it. That's that's the ending. Done, GG. Well, guys. Um... I should call this the end of the stream. I mean, we're going on 9.30 p.m. But I'll be back tomorrow for one last stream before Christmas because uh, Christmas is on Monday, so there won't be a stream on Monday, right? So it'll be like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday with no stream. So yeah. Meow says, well, can knock another game off your list. Yeah. <laughs> a hardcore one, too. This... This one was not easy. It was annoying, right? I did use guides, but... And I saved state the fuck out of the last boss. Save Scumder. Yes, yeah, so I'll be back with another game tomorrow. It could be Tactics Ogre, or it could be another game. I'll see what I can pull off. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna be back till tomorrow, and then Tuesday, right? So, there's six of us. Let's raid somebody. Let's read, let's read Infinite Metal. He's uh, got Breath of Fire going on, I'm pretty sure. Okay, guys, see you on, on the other side. Okay, let me just load up a thing here. Crazy. I can't believe I was able to finish it. Yeah, it looks like the raid went through, so I'm just waiting for the just waiting for the transfer before I turn off my thing. Why didn't it go through? Sometimes it doesn't go through. Weird. Oh, he's got a uh, Ryu, Rand, Bo, Nina. Nina's weak. Did the transfer not happen? I don't think it happened. I saw his viewers go off. Let's see. Let's 
try one last time to host. Cause I'm sure it worked. Yeah, because it won't let me host again. Yeah, I'm not sure if it worked or not, but guys, have a great night and peace out and catch me another time.